What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? I wanna answer a quick question that we got from an insider in the community the other day, and that was, what size paddle tail should I be using in the winter, big or small? Now, these are our 3.5 inch 2.0 Slam Shadies, and this is our five inch bomber. And I caught fish on both of these lures today, and I wanna talk about when to use each. And it's really gonna come down to what species you're targeting and the types of areas that you're fishing and what bait is present. Now, to kind of give a quick overview here, typically in the winter time, we don't see a lot of large bait out there. Most of the big mullet are absent from the flats a lot of them have gone in migration and it's the time of the year that you know they're at their lowest numbers they haven't spawned yet so all the fish from the previous year have been getting eaten all year long so there's just not a whole lot of them around the main bait fish that is present are those small minnows small shad small pinfish and that does represent a really good profile in the 2.0 so when i'm going after redfish in the flats trout in the flats your average size fish in shallow water i'm going to use the 2.0s because they accurately represent the most available bait fish that's out there now there are other options that you can use small crustacean profiles that are very prevalent in the winter but i do like to use paddle tails because i can cover a lot more ground with them they're much faster uh, to fish and they do provide really great vibration and murky water like we've got today now the caveat to this is when i'm after larger fish specifically speckled trout and there are a lot of big mullet that are around but they're tough to find and if you do come into an area where you're after big trout typically the first thing i'm going to look for before i even put a line in the water Water is big mullet that's going to key to me that those fish are hanging in those areas big fish need big meals now this isn't necessarily the case with redfish i caught a overslot redfish on this 2.0 today but i would not have thrown the bomber at these redfish but i was throwing them for the trout again i was seeing a bunch of hog leg mullet jumping around the really big guys seven eight inch mullet and this is going to accurately represent the the meals that are available to those big trout that's what they're after big mullet or even a small trout. Uh, they are cannibalistic, so that's typically when I'm gonna use these five inches in the winter. Really almost when I'm after those speckled trout, that's pretty much the only exception that I'm gonna use, but it does come out of my box a lot because I love to target speckled trout. Typically when I'm after my flounder, redfish, um, other species, I'm gonna go ahead and use the 2.0 just because it accurately represents their diet a little bit more. I can even pull the tail off and make it look like a shrimp, which is probably the main thing that they're eating this time of year. Uh, but there's a lot of different opportunities Opportunities for you to use both of these baits and they both can work extremely well so I just wanted to clarify that for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this tip and I hope you get a chance to get out and use these baits these are in our 11 and 1 lures package uh, you can get both of these lures and a combination of several others for just one cent if you visit us at 11 lures for one.com uh, these are awesome and I definitely recommend you guys try them out and if you're not already an insider definitely recommend you do that because you do get a discount on both of these baits if you are already an insider uh, and plus tons of other really great knowledge that we've got in the community about becoming an, a better inshore angler. Uh, so definitely join us in the Salt Strong Insider Club and thanks again for watching. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the number one online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee we're gonna help you find and catch more fish, save money on tackle and make friends fast or it's free. So we hope to see you in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon and thanks again for watching.